How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we are in the city of Crater Lake, and we are going to be working on a large shopping mall. I've been kind of holding off what to build here, and I kept going back and forth initially. I was going to do an office, but I think if we do like a really large outdoor mall, um, it's kind of cool. And it, where I'm from in Las Vegas, these are quite common now, but growing up, they, they didn't have them. They were all indoor malls, and it was um, definitely more of a California thing to have large outdoor malls. And so I think it's going to be kind of fun. Um, I do want to give a little bit of a backstory. So we have a, quite a few prominent figures in Crater Lake, but we actually have a new one, and it is a guy named Frank Cashman. And the Cashman family is actually a, a prominent family within Las Vegas. And so I felt like it would be kind of fun to, you know, incorporate it in Crater Lake like a real, a real prominent family. Um, cause it's kind of funny, you know, cities, uh, they tend to have, you know, millionaires or billionaires that live or reside within the area that will give back to the community or even invest in the community a lot of times. And that's where you get these uh, prominent figures. Like a lot of times schools are named after them or airports or, um, shopping centers or stuff like that. It's because they've just, they've influenced the city so much that the city has decided to give back. And so I think it'd be fun. So the Cashman family is going to build out this mall. It's going to actually be their first development in the city. And so um, I did want to go over a little bit of the city. We, we don't tend to look at a lot of the past builds a lot. And I know for a lot of newer viewers, maybe jumping in here, you're like, man, what's this guy about? And, and so I really like showing some of these bigger ones. Like this is definitely one of my, uh, most proud builds and it's kind of funny I had this idea to do this here from almost the beginning of the map I was like you know what this mountain would be great to do these uh, kind of tiered residential back here and I think it looks really cool um, then we have our little waterfalls over here which was the first waterfalls that I did um, and this video actually did pretty well though it kind of died randomly afterwards but then we have our capital district over here which I didn't end up showing in the cinematic for some reason um, I did end up doing like an overview of the city in a cinematic episode not too long ago um, but I really like this memorial that we did. I think that this is just such a cool little build. And um, it's one that I often don't look at. And we do have some delivery issues over here, like not enough goods. We do need to build out some more industrial. So I think what I'm hoping to do is build out, finish building out this section, do our Crater Lake National Park, um, probably do some agriculture or something over here. And then I think we're going to do something right here, though it is the entrance to our kind of weird little prison uh, volcano over here. Um, but I think for right now, we're probably done over here. Building so close to the edge of the map is kind of tough. And then we have this whole area that we still have to build on. And so if you guys have any fun ideas, go ahead and let me know. I'm coming up with ideas. It's kind of tough sometimes. Um, I know it's probably the same for all creators. And so it's like you kind of just play around with things and um, try to do the best. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I want to do is jump into our roads. And we're going to go to this two unit three lane plus. And I want to extend our couplet right here. So we're going to bring this forward. I'm just going to kind of cheat and go like that. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and delete these. And the reason I did that is because I want it to be the same. So it is eight units across. So we're going to go up. Bring that there, bring that there, and then we're going to go into the free form tool. We are going to connect that up there. Fantastic. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Perfect. And let's go ahead and flip that around just because we can. Now what we're going to do is just extend this couplet out. I don't think we're going to necessarily build off at the edge of it just yet. Um, cause I do have a couple ideas. I'd gotten a suggestion a long time ago to do, um, a fishing village over here. And I feel like it would just be really cool to do like just more of a rural town on this side of the map um, with the with this kind of beach area, especially with our industrial. So maybe we'll end up doing um, a, an industrial area right here to kind of help alleviate some of that goods demand. But now what I want to do is go ahead and grab this road. We're going to bring it back just a couple. I'm going to go into a four unit road and I actually want to create bike access. So we're going to come in here and go to this four unit bike lane road. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just draw it all the way around. I think we'll even come up right there. There's no point not to. And we want it to go over the couplet. So we're going to come up over here and then let's um, go ahead and jump into our slope tool now within the network multi tool. And we'll probably go from like right there and let's just go all the way back to see what it gives us. Okay. So that's actually not bad. That's um, very close to what I was going for. So now we're going to go to force ground piece i'm going to right click out of the network multi-tool we're going to go like that we're going to come all the way back perfect um so now what we'll do is come over here go into our water structures and go to our regular key wall and one of the cool things with this is um in las vegas there's actually a big one on the west side of town it's called downtown summerlin and it is actually on kind of a hilly area and so yeah so it's on this hill it's got a huge key wall or not really a key wall more of a retaining wall um, holding up a very large section of it off of like two two of the roads or one of the roads. Um, and it's just because one of the roads is substantially lower than the other. So just like this, 
And then there's a road on the other side. Um, it's quite a bit bigger than this though, because it has like an office, big, uh, kind of like a mid-rise office building in the middle. And then it has a huge casino as well, the Red Rock Casino. Um, and it's a really nice area. They, um, the Red Rock Casino was there first and then they decided to do like a big mall and kind of turned it into this whole like downtown Summerlin, even though like there isn't technically a, a downtown Summerlin. Um, I do want to fix this. So we're going to right click right there, come up all the way on our little slope tool. And I want to try to fix that edge. Nice, that, that actually worked out pretty well. Now we'll come back into the level terrain tool and let's right click here and let's just come out like right here and see what this looks like. So let's look at it on this side. How does this look? Mm, it's definitely not my most favorite feature. Maybe we will tuck that back, go back into water structure grab this and then turn this up and then what we'll do is go into the freeform tool and then have this basically follow the road definitely looks a little better and I like that this section over here is like this too I feel like that definitely looks a little bit better rather than having like kind of a weird um, little slopey guy because then we can grab this have this just go in here and then go right into the little underground section um so we'll go like that and so now what i want to do is jump into the bulldoze tool we are going to remove a section and then we're going to jump into the slope terrain tool and i want this to be about the same size as that so i'm going to right click and then drag this down and then we will come in here go to a nice four unit road probably with trees in the middle go like this and then go straight so i want to go just a little bit so i don't mess up that terrain at all and so we'll go like that and this is kind of similar to how uh, downtown summerlin is as well downtown summerlin has like a strip mall area on one side with a big parking lot in the middle and a bunch of shops around the outside. But then it has like a regular kind of outdoor mall with a bunch of little uh, satellite restaurants around the outside. And so that's what I'm gonna try to capture. I definitely wanna get um, like a, a couple big box stores in here and then we will do some standard like mall shops. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these three unit um, road with parking lot assets. I really like them. They give you that tree on the one side and then they allow us to do some parking spaces. And so I think we will come up over here and we're going to have this turn this way and then probably go this way. And then the whole point of this is to kind of have it meander around a little bit. So then we'll have it come up here, have it turn and then come up over here and then have it turn down. And you know, that looks pretty good. So then it provides a lot of space in the middle for us to do some more shops. We'll probably do some small two net roads in here. So we'll grab this, have this come up here and then follow along just on the edge of that zoning. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. I like this look. And so let's go ahead and connect that up too, just cause we can. And so now what we're gonna do is create a large parking lot area that's going to uh, have some shops around the outside and we're gonna do some satellite um, little restaurants and uh, some of our big box stores, I believe. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use this drive road and I'm going to have it connect up all the way around. So I think we'll connect up right there and then we're gonna have it come up over here. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into some of our big box stores. We're gonna go to Target. I really wanted to get a Target down in here. So I think the Target would be good right next to the entrance. This would just be fantastic. And so I think we will go ahead and delete these and then place this here. And then let's um, go ahead and just move this over a smidge. All right, so I really like this. Um, Target in America is just a huge chain. And so it's definitely something that I wanted to get in here. Um, it is definitely the most realistic. Though I can't say that our city is American inspired, but there are certain aspects of it that I have drawn um, from uh, some American cities. Like I know, we use Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Washington DC as all kind of inspiration at some point. And so I think what we'll do now is let's go ahead and extend this drive road out just a smidge. Well, like right there and then let's go right there and go right there, perfect. Okay, so now what I would like to do, I also got a Costco as well and it would just be fantastic if we could get one of those in here. So if we grab this, let's, um, so that's a Costco sign. Costco X, Costco loading dock, ooh. Okay, so Costco Maine, this is gonna be huge. Um, so it'd be really good if we could get it probably back here. So if we go ahead and place this like right here, then we will do Costco X. And it looks like this is just like an extension of that main building because Costco's tend to be very large too. So I think we will go like that and let's go ahead and copy that and place it across. We'll probably do just a couple of these, go like that. And then let's go ahead and do a Costco loading dock as well. Ooh, and there's always a Costco gas station, that's funny. So um, we'll go ahead and go like this. And I think we're going to put this on the back side. So if we go, 
like this. We'll go like that. And then what we can do is jump into a one unit road and turn this into like a little uh, semi road, like semi truck road. So that would just be for deliveries and stuff. And so now we can go like that. And it looks like this road is actually a little up. So maybe we'll control H right there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Control H. Yeah, just because we don't need it to be any sort of crazy bumpiness over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think this, I actually really like the look of this too. Um, I think this looks fantastic. And so we'll probably do a little Costco gas station as well, since you always see these. And so let's, um, maybe we'll put it right here. This could actually be good. So we'll go ahead and place that right there. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and create a small parking lot. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in a small parking lot real quick. Okay. So I got a small parking lot with a couple little drive roads. And then I think what we're going to do is just do a couple little curbs, probably a planter network, and then just kind of clean it up a little bit. So let's um, go like this. And then we will go ahead and remove surface painter on this side. I just want to get rid of those sprites. And then we will come in here and go to a planter network. And so we'll come all the way around, go to planter network, come like this. Yeah, concrete's perfect. And then let's go ahead and turn off snapping and then control S as well. And so we will come around, go like this, and we'll go like this. And then let's go ahead and move that up just a smidge, just so we can get above the ground. I feel like that would be important. And there we go. And so I think we can actually move this forward just a little bit. And then let's um, go ahead and get rid of probably one of these parking lots. So I'll grab that. Let's go ahead and just move this down a smidge. So if we go like that. Okay, and so I think that looks pretty good. We'll probably come back through here and do some more detailing as well. And then we'll probably do a little Costco sign with some detailing around here. And then we're going to do a big parking lot right here. And so now what I want to do is start placing down some of our buildings. So if I go in here and search up shopping, I got quite a bit and there's a bunch of different styles as well, though one of the big features is you do tend to have like one kind of style with these. And so I think we will go ahead and place this down. Let's go ahead and place that down and let's fit a couple of these in here. We'll go like this. Let's go ahead and move these back just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. This is already looking so great. So we'll come up over here, do the same thing. And then what I'm going to do is basically just place these all the way around. Um, and then I think I'm going to have some openings as well. So we'll probably go like this and then go like that. And then what we'll do, let's actually do a pedestrian road going straight. So if we grab this, and this is one of the things in the new DLC that we're going to be able to do like little bollards and stuff and have it just look really cool. So we'll go like that and then go back to our shopping center road, have this go all the way back. And then let's do a corner. Let's go to our, oh, I don't know if that's far enough. I actually want to go just a little bit further. We're not going to be able to have a road go there. So I think we'll have the road come out right here. So let's go back to our pedestrian road and then we will have this go this way and then connect up right there. Perfect. And that still is a little bit of an issue for us. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and pl plop this back and then see if we can get, yeah, that's actually perfect right there. So this would be like your little inner mall area. You would probably have another little entrance on this side. We'll go like this all the way down now. We'll connect this up and then we'll probably uh, just do a path through here. I feel like that's probably good. So we'll come up over here, grab our paths, go to unmodded, go ahead and turn off snapping. And so we are ready, man. We're, we're just doing a whole ton. I wonder if we can grab this and uh, let's actually do that corner one because that could just be fantastic. I think it's going to fit too. I think we got ahead of ourselves. Yeah, if we go like that, perfect. Because then we can grab that, connect that up. Nice. This is already looking so cool. And this is definitely, uh, you know, what it looks like. I do wish that these were just a smidge smaller. So then I got these um, kind of fancier stores over here as well that I do want to get. So let's go ahead and force zoning right here. I don't know why it's not reading. There should be zoning right there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So I got this little Chanel shop. And then I got, ooh, a Versace shop, which, ooh, so these are actually, they're not right next to each other. So I think what we'll do is um, kind of wait. So if we, okay, so these are a little too big. So maybe we will do those. So if we go to our, so if we go like right here, how does this look? We'll go like that as well. Let's go ahead and look at these. Can we push these into each other? So that's actually got some pretty decent de details too. Um, so I think what we can do, we're gonna turn this into like our little boutique area. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go ahead and push all these in together. And it looks like our little flower shop is kind of small. I think maybe we'll use this for our little plaza area. So if we grab this, let's come down here. Maybe we'll use all these for our little plaza area. Yeah, I think we'll do that because then we can do a little park space over here too. 
So if we go like this and then let's um, go ahead and grab a pedestrian road. So we'll, let's do this uh, like fancier one. Yeah, this stone one, I feel like that looks good. Yeah, there we go. And then what we'll do is grab this, line it up, and then come down here and do the same thing. Grab this, line it up, perfect. Okay, so I think this little strip mall right here is actually really nice. So we, I think I'm gonna go ahead and split these up and then do a little plaza in the middle. Since these are like the little higher volume or higher value uh, shops in here, and then this little flower shop I like right here. I also got a little Starbucks. So if we search up in here for Starbucks and yeah, this one right here. So I think we'll go ahead and put this like right on the corner. Actually, that's not the right one. I have two Starbucks in here. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. This one's definitely more of your standardy kind of Starbucks look. And this one actually does have a drive through too. So we are going to go ahead and go like this and then we're going to slide this over and then we're going to grab a small one unit road for our drive through and we're going to place this right here. We're going to turn off snapping and we're going to have it go turn back on snapping, go like that. Nice. And so it's uh, having a two, two lane one way is probably not the most realistic. So we'll actually go like that. And so let's go ahead and slide this over to the road now. And then let's um, move these back. And then I think I got a small little parking lot too. So let's go ahead and search up parking. Yeah. So I got a little four by one slot, which is just perfect. So if we go ahead and place that like right there, we actually don't need to do the parking. Well, um, because we got the parking roads around the outside, I feel like this is probably good. So we're going to go ahead and place that right there. And then we'll be able to do like some outdoor seating over here right next to the entrance. I feel like that'll be good. And so let's um now finish off some of these buildings. So I'm gonna grab my picker mod, grab this, and then let's go all the way around now. So I want to do some of the corners in here. Where's our little corner right here? We'll grab this and then let's do a couple of these. Let's do our corner again. And then let's go ahead and move that corner back just a smidge so we can reveal the front of that shop. I don't wanna cut it off. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. And then let's um, go ahead and finish these off, go all the way down. And then we're going to come back through and do like signs and stuff like that as well. And so I think we'll do a little park area right here. It does look like we've got a little building that we forgot. So we'll grab this. Let's go ahead and bring this over here. Let's actually put it right in the middle. Let's see what building that is. Oh, it's Prada. So yeah, we'll put that like right there. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. And then let's um, move these back just a smidge so we can get some curb space. And then we'll grab all these, move them back. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Nice. And so this is already looking pretty good. So we got a little park area in here and then we got a plaza area up front. Let's go ahead and do some more shopping right here. So we'll place that down, place this down. Let's do our little corner lot and then let's um, come over here, place a couple more of these. We'll place that there and then move it in. Grab this, go like that. And then let's um, go place our little corner guy. That was the wrong one. So we'll delete that and then place this in there. Nice. And then let's um, go ahead and place this one in there and then let's do a little one by slot. Nice. This actually looks really cool. Um, so there probably would be an indoor section to this as well, since it's so big, you'd probably have some shops on the inside. So maybe we'll do like a little glass awning on top. I feel like that could be cool. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and throw in some of our parking lots because I'm not really sure. I think we're going to fill in this space. We'll probably do a couple more shops down here and then we're going to do some parking around the outside just with Target and with the Costco, we would definitely need a lot of parking. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. Okay, so I got the parking lots in and I feel like this is probably a good start. This is a huge one, but honestly, it's just because it's servicing both sides. And it's kind of funny after thinking about it, I think we're going to add in some more, um, more handicap spaces over here. I didn't even think about it. So we would want to have handicap parking available for both the Target people and also the Costco people. So we would definitely need to have a ton of them over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy these now and then just flip them around. It's just the easiest way to go about doing this. It does look like I got a piece of the pavement though too, which it's not the end of the world. Okay, and so now I got some more handicap parking over here and I got handicap parking back here as well. And I think what I'm going to do is just jump in here and go to our planters and then just kind of place some of them down. Um, I recently have been trying to focus more on detailing our poor parking lots it's like I go from being heavily detailed in our parking lots to not being detailed and and I know it's definitely better um it's more realistic and it does provide a little bit of a safety factor as well because then cars can't just drive through the middle which they do tend to do and it's just really unsafe okay so I got some trees down I think this actually looks pretty good um we'll still come back through and do some detailing around the outside I do want to finish this though so I think what we're going to do is jump back in here go to our lovely shops um let's actually use our picker since it seems to do a little bit better of a job pulling up the menu where all these are. 
So if we grab that, yeah, so it's under Rico. Um, so then we will come around. Let's go ahead and do our corners first. So we'll grab that, grab that, come around here and then turn that. Perfect. And then let's grab these now. Have this go all the way down and go like that. Perfect. And I'm tempted to do another little road in here. I just, yeah, it wasn't going to fit. So we'll go like this and then we will go all the way down. Nice. And we probably could even fit one more in there. Let's see. So if I grab this and then copy, can I get that? Yeah, I can. Perfect. Nice. And so we already got so much going on here. This is a huge mall. This would definitely be the place to go. And I think these actually run as little shops too. So if I go in here, yeah, so they're little small shops. How much? So they only have five workers. Great. And so I do want to get another big box store here. Let's see what else we have. So, hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I got a Best Buy. Yeah, I did. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and place this right here. This is perfect. And then I think we have a little movie theaters too. I think it's one of the, yeah. So if we grab this. Let's go ahead and do, uh, ooh, it looks like we already have it. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and copy it. Um, it is back here in our lovely little plaza by the water. So we're going to grab this, come all the way over here, and then I think I'm going to place it like, I want to have it in its own, sp ooh, this would actually be perfect right here. So we're going to go ahead and place this right here, and then I think what we're going to do is do some little stairs. We definitely don't want it that low. I feel like that'd probably be hard to get to. If it was like way down there like that. I'd really like to get some little stairs though. So if we go ahead and raise this up just a smidge and then let's um, search up stairs. We'll grab this. That is a little steep. I don't know if I, yeah, I want these ones. Perfect. I was going to say that's like way too steep. So we're going to place that down and then I'm going to grab it and then lower it down and then just line this up. And I'm going to go ahead and get this done real quick. Basically just going to line it up with the road and then have it go all the way down. Okay, and so I got the stairs in. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and put in a retaining wall over here. So we are going to go ahead and turn this off. I think I'm gonna do one like right here and have it go all the way around. We'll go like this, have it come up all the way over here and then have it go probably about the same. Actually, you know what, let's, actually, let's have it go right next to the stairs. I feel like that's just gonna be fantastic. And so we will now grab that. Let's control H right there. And then let's come over here and do the same thing even though this is going to be kind of an issue. Let's actually um, redraw that one in like we did the other side. So we will come down here, have it go right next to the stairs and then have it come up over here. Perfect. And then let's grab that control H right there. And then I'm going to jump into the slope tool, grab this and then come all the way around, grab that and hit enter. Perfect. It does look like I want to just lower it down a smidge more. So if I grab both of these and then drop these down to right there, perfect. And then that way it's going to allow us to do like a nice little overlook area. It's kind of funny. Um, in Vegas, another outdoor mall is the uh, Town Square. It's a pretty big outdoor mall. It's relatively new. It's within the last like uh, 10, 15 years, uh, like 10 years. Um, but it has their, uh, their movie theater just like this. There's big stairs that goes up. And so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the casino build. I'm going to grab our surface networks. I'm going to grab these, control H right there, and then slide them over. Ooh, of course. So control Z, grab these, come over here, turn them around. And then I'm just going to basically create a platform with these. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this done real quick. And then I will be right back with you guys. Okay. And so I got the stairs in. I got all of our little, uh, little uh, concrete networks. This was definitely kind of tough to build, but it looks really good. And so now what I want to do is um, go ahead and do a fence around. So we're just going to probably do our walls again. This is what we did last time. So if we do, I don't want to do that fence. I think we're going to do, yeah, this nicer one. All right. So I think this looks pretty good. So I think what we'll do is just extend a little more of our buildings over here next to the Best Buy, just because it's a little left empty over here. Um, and I would prefer it to be another big box store, but um, I don't have any more on hand. And so I think what we're going to do is go ahead and place that right there. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And then I think we're going to leave the rest for detailing. Um, I think we'll do like another little park area over here, kind of overlooking the key since this is going to be like a really nice view. And I'm going to turn this into a nice little walkable area. I think I'm going to do some fountains. Same with over here, probably a fountain, a small little playground. And then around the outside, I'm going to do some nice detail and just make it look really good. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. I hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, and here we go. And I definitely got a little kind of crazy with this one. I decided to uh, basically start off with some decals and then I just went, I uh, got into the zone and, and started placing decals everywhere. Um, I did some little awnings in here as well so that we have like these nice little shaded areas kind of going through here. Um, that's uh, definitely more realistic compared to um, some of the outdoor malls I've seen as well. Um, but then I did planters going all the way around. I did these square little kind of uh, fountains with um, some grassy areas right in the middle where the trees are. And I think it looks really good. I, I really like the wood decals. I decided to do some low rise commercial as well. I did a couple little buildings over here and then a couple over here with another little plaza, just an area, to, you know, for people to meet. Maybe maybe these are offices. Um, though I think they're little shops. Yeah, so all the things superstore. And so I thought it just looked really good. It kind of filled in the space. Um, but then I upgraded our key walls around the outside. I wanted to get a little fence in there, especially since we did this playground. And then for up here, I did wood decals as well, a couple little planters, and I did a little restaurant area with an awning and some tables so that maybe there's like a restaurant on the back of the movie theater. Um, you can kind of come out here and then enjoy the view like you would definitely. Um, it'd be really cool to just kind of look out here and see everything, even though nothing is kind of built right now. This is the first little development in here, um, but the Cashman, foundation has definitely proved itself and so i think the city is going to approve their purchase of this land to uh, do a home development and stuff like that and so um i really like this this being my first mall kind of build i am actually really really proud of it um i do think that we're going to be doing more of these in the future if you guys have any fun ideas uh, maybe the way malls are designed where you're at um, i know big box retail really isn't a uh, a thing all over the world i know america's really the uh we've fully embraced it it's pretty much everywhere um go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button it really does help me out a lot um if you enjoyed this episode you will definitely enjoy the episode on your your screen and i'll catch you guys next time thank you so much for watching